The Southern Ocean is one of the largest and wildest stretches of water on the entire planet. Yet few people realise that it's also one of the most important. Professor Matthew England from the University of New South Wales Climate Change Research Centre is studying the role the Southern Ocean plays on our weather. You'll see in the nightly weather, weather you'll see these very intense weather systems south of Australia cold fronts and very deep lows and these have heaps of moisture in them and they, you know, if we're lucky enough the, the rainfall associated with, the, with these weather systems will, will come across southwest Western Australia and, and southern Australia and bring us relief from dry spells. So we're really focusing on these weather systems and, and how they might be shifting to the south and, and, and if they shift, you know, is it a permanent shift or will it return, you know, in decades to come. By using some of the world's most advanced atmospheric computer modelling techniques, Matthew and his colleagues are uncovering some disturbing trends. The infamous bad weather of the Southern Ocean is steadily moving south as a result of global warming. From the climate models, it, it seems that this trend towards of, of the weather systems moving south is reversible. What concerns climate scientists are where the tipping points are irreversible and there's certainly examples in the climate system where you can change something and, and it shifts the climate to a new state and the reverse uh, pathway is actually almost impossible to take on that sort of time scale. It can occur over thousands or hundreds of thousands of years. For Australia, this southern drift of climate means that the rain vital for our agricultural sector is falling in the ocean, not where it's needed on land. At stake is potentially billions of dollars in farming revenue as well as a higher frequency of severe and destructive weather events. The southern hemisphere is dominated by oceans and 90% of our um, increased heat content in the climate system is held by the ocean. So the short story is if we lived on a planet without any ocean, our current greenhouse gas emissions would have had a tenfold worse impact. Nonetheless, there's only so much heat that the southern ocean can absorb. And understanding how its influence on our weather will change into the future is something vital not just for Australia, but for the entire world.